The GOI-2 space vehicle will be launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base on the United Launch Alliance Atlas V-401 rocket. At liftoff, the SV detects brake wire separation and turns on the catalyst bed heaters. At 17 seconds, the booster begins a pitch over and coordinated maneuver to the flight azimuth. Booster main engine cutoff occurs at 243 seconds. Six seconds later, the first stage is jettisoned. Centaur main engine ignition occurs at 259 seconds. Payload fairing jettison occurs at 267 seconds once the free molecular heating has fallen to an acceptable level. Launch vehicle telemetry coverage is provided by multiple assets at Vandenberg Air Force Base and San Nicolas Iron. Tedris also provides booster telemetry coverage. After reaching the target orbit of 652 kilometers circular sun synchronous, Centaur turns to align the spacecraft's longitudinal axis with the sun. Separation is initiated by the spacecraft separation system. After detection of LV-SV brake wire separation, the spacecraft begins an automated sequence of timed events by turning on the narrow band transmitter. Next, solar array deployment begins with the activation of HDRM heaters. Within five minutes, the paraffin inside each HDRM warms to individually release the solar arrays. As a contingency, redundant HDRM heaters are also activated. Approximately 29 minutes after liftoff, the spacecraft begins sun search mode. Sun capture duration depends upon the orientation of the spacecraft to the sun. Sun capture will complete approximately 41 minutes after liftoff depending upon the orientation of the spacecraft. Initial contact with the troll ground station will occur from 42 to 48 minutes after liftoff. An additional contact opportunity is available at Mauritius, followed by back-to-back -back contacts at Tromso and Barrow.